Hi, this is a quick tutorial on how to install a reshade preset that you might have gotten somewhere off the internet or off my Discord itself. Uh, let's get started. So as an example, we'll use my Discord. On my Discord, in the download section, here's all the files that you can download for any, for any of the games that I've uh, created a preset for. This tutorial will work for any game that has a reshade preset, not just my own. And we'll choose the Witcher 3 preset since I've been getting a lot more questions about the Witcher 3. So we'll click on the file and download it. So once you have the file on your computer, if you open up the zip, there should be a readme file as well as an INI file. The INI file, this one, this is the reshade preset. So, now that you have the file, what do you do? You need to copy and paste this into the game folder itself. So to find where your game folder is located on your computer, on Steam it's very easy. If you just right click on the Witcher and go to manage and browse local files, a new folder window should pop up. For me, for some reason, it always pops up at the back. Here it is. And this is not the section. Sometimes you will land up exactly where the exe is and other times you will have to look for where the game exe is. And for the Witcher, it's within bin x64 and if we look for the exe here it is this is the exe that you've installed reshade onto so for my preset or any other preset all you have to do is click and drag it over into this folder and drop it in or copy and paste now you have installed my reshade preset onto the game all that's left to do is to start the game up Okay, once we are in-game, all you have to do is tap the home key. Once we are in-game, you can click and drag the reshade menu to wherever you want on the, the screen. Uh, now let's leave it right over here. If this is a fresh install of reshade, you should be presented with um, nothing, right? So it should say reshade preset. This is just the default preset that reshade has given you so that you could create your own preset yourself so what you want to do is load up the preset that you've just downloaded so to do that all you have to do is just click on this highlighted section where reshade preset is and it should bring up a menu and you look for the file that you've just copied over into the game folder uh, our file was the beyond the hype which are three dot INI file, you click on it and just select it and reshade has just loaded up the preset. So this section below the effects section is all of the effects that you've activated and this is where you will change the strength and the intensity of each effect. As you can see, each effect is here, the chromatic aberration, color matrix, lumen sharpening, uh, SMAA. Some of these effects have almost no effect on game performance and others do. Ray tracing has got a big performance pen penalty, um, but this can also be adjusted to help you gain back your frames. So if we go down to the settings of RTGI, just scroll down until you find Quint RTGI. As you can see, this is the effect. Here's the name Quint RTGI. In this section is where you can change like the amount of rays. So in the RTGI uh, settings section, each of these effects do something different. And if you hover over them, there should be an information box that pops up. Not all of these sections will have an information box that uh, pops up, but this is all dependent on the developer of the shader. 
if he wants to add a information box or not. So to give you back more frames in your game, usually you would drop the amount of rays as well as the steps per rays um, and just play around with uh, this section and actually find out where your frames per second is sitting and uh, so you don't have to not use uh, ray tracing uh, because your game is running like trash. First play around with this and it could help. One quick tip uh, if you're making changes to ray tracing instead of looking it in the normal game channel view choose the lighting channel if you click on the lighting channel and you change anything on ray tracing when it comes to let's say the ambient occlusion it's much easier to see your changes taking place and if i move this across here because i think there's a little bit more bounce lighting this side you see these little sections over here with the grasses um, if I change the bounce lighting intensity so that's how much the light is being scattered and it might look good in this section but that's when you have to go back to the normal game section and see if you like that or not um, as well as this section here if we just make this as intense as possible and we go back to none everything has a gloss on it so if we just everything is shining <laughs> sometimes the normal channel will help you actually see what's happening when it comes to your settings see what's happening with uh, your changes that you've been making and other times it's the lighting channel that will help out visualize it better so play around with that but that's about it for those that have installed my preset and you might come across a an, an error in red just below that uh, that says uh, certain effects have not loaded that it's probably because you do not have the ray tracing shader from Pascal so on the top right of the screen right now there's a video that will explain how to get it and how to install it other than that have fun